Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to absolutely dominate in marketing, not win, not make some money, like crush, obliterate, dominate every single competitor and just be the best version of yourself. So we're going to be going into four main pillars of dominating in marketing. It's going to be great. You're going to love it completely free and a ton of value. This video is probably worth 50, hundred grand to at least anyone who's going to do anything substantial, if not way more. So these 15, 20 minutes, however long this video ends up being, will really define if you, if you have what it takes, because you know, I'm not lying. One thing it's undisputed is I'm great at marketing. Marketing. It's probably my biggest skill in business. Someone asked on a podcast. That's what I told him. I think it's my biggest skill at least. So let's dive right in. Oh, and by the way, I've made like tens of millions of dollars between e-commerce businesses, my agency, a few other investments I've made into other companies have grown as well as coaching and consulting. Like I've made a lot of money at this point, 25, $30 million. So I think you can trust me, but that's just the proof. If you don't believe that at this point, you could just click off. If you do believe it, let's dive right in. So first off, first main pillar is competitive research. Every one of these pillars is important in its own way. And number three is the most important part, but competitive research is the act and the idea of finding competition, finding competitors doing exactly what you're doing. Ideally at scale, they're already spending money. They're actively running ads. You can see what's working right now. What that's going to do is give you one every answer ever. I say all the time, it's like cheating off the smart kid in your class. If cheating was allowed, like if you could cheat on a test and it was allowed, you would cheat on the smart kid. It makes sense because you know, all his answers are right. That's what I would do at least. So if you can do that legally in business, why wouldn't you look at any successful business ever? Amazon modeled a lot of the things Walmart did when Walmart was starting off. He was flying to Mexico to see why the shelves were holding so much more inventory. Little tip that it was like more tightly packed in Mexico because they didn't care about the visuals. The point is, is that your competitors will give you the cheat sheet to winning, especially if they're making money. It's very crucial. You don't look at competitors that are broke, poor, or just starting as then it's going to do exactly the opposite. You're going to be getting information thinking this is good when in reality it's not. So the biggest key to competitive research is looking for people who are actively running ads to a service, to a product, to anything. And if this isn't already known and you aren't aware of it, this four step process can go for anything. This is how to win in marketing in general and will go hand in hand with, I mean, many different types of businesses and niches, especially if it relies on direct marketing to a consumer. The last thing I'll say with the competitive research before we move on to the second portion of this is like, guys, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. I heard on a podcast a while back and it's so great. Like you need a copycat. I heard on a podcast a while back and it's so great. Like you need to be a copycat. It sounds weird, but it's true. You need to copy the right cats though. Don't copy random people, copy the right people and don't reinvent the wheel. Do it legally, of course. And you're going to be on your way to making at least a portion, 10, 50, 60% of what the competitor is making, right? Someone's doing 10 K a day, selling a product. You replicate it. Like it's very hard to not do well. Second portion out of the four pillars is amazing funnels. What does this mean? A funnel is a customer journey. A lot of people have customer journeys, at least in my eyes, confused. And they say that that's for fulfillment. Oh, my customer journey. Once they buy the product, no, your customer journey starts the second someone sees you and it ends the second they will never see you again. Like they, they stop using your product or service. The point is, is your customer journey is key. And until they buy the customer journey is a very fragile point as if it's bad, you're going to lose money on the fulfillment side. It's very important to obviously deliver a good product, but it's a little less worrisome as you can normally remediate any issue. If they're unsatisfied, you can talk to them, figure out the issue, fix it. You're not going to lose money. But on the front end, if your funnel, when you're selling is a problem, you're screwed because it doesn't matter if you run the best ad on the planet, if you're funnel doesn't sell you're screwed. So a funnel can be an e-commerce landing page. When they hit your website, they add to cart, buy now, etc. A funnel can be someone who calls every new lead and says, Hey, I want you to buy X, Y, and Z product. A funnel can be showing up to their address and selling them door to door. A funnel is just the idea of a customer coming in and they now get led from the ad to paying you money. That process needs to be dialed in. And this pillar short, it's just the fact that if this is messed up, it doesn't matter how good your ads are. Your funnels like your yin to your yang, right? The peanut butter, the jelly. If one of them is messed up, it doesn't matter. You're not going to have a peanut butter and jelly in like a sandwich. You know, if you don't have peanut butter in the sandwich, you can't have a peanut butter and jelly. So it's very important that, you know, if you want a peanut butter and jelly, if you want a converting funnel to make a lot of money, you need both ads and a good funnel. Both of those pillars have to be down. And the funnel is just a component of ads I wanted to mention here, because again, you could have great ads, but if your funnel sucks, it doesn't matter. So that's, that's the second pillar. Let's move on to number three, which is my favorite and most important pillar. Pillar number three, ads creation. This is where everyone goes wrong. And it's my favorite pillar because it matters the most. The same way where I said, if funnel doesn't work, you're screwed. The same thing for ads. You could have an amazing funnel, but if your ads suck, obviously you're not going to win. That's why you guys are watching this video to crush ads and marketing. The issue is, is the ad video itself. It's one of the biggest pillars when you're, when you're running ads, a lot of people like the best strategy, day parting, budget splitting, CBO, ABO, all this stuff. But you realize that it all does not matter like a creative, the actual video itself. And why I'm mentioning this is because you don't want to mess this up. 
And if you're a beginner, it's crucial that you get this outsourced to someone who can be getting you great creatives. When I was a bit younger and a bit more novice myself, and I'd recommend to people to make their own ads. But at this point, I just don't. You can get Fiverr editors online who can scrap clips together and make you ads quickly. And one of my favorite things to do, especially if you're an e-com, is work with viral e-com ads. It's a company I partnered up with. I know Noah. They're great people that have been in the space for an extremely long time. And what's great about them is for like extremely cheap prices, they can make you ads in a variety of different niches, worlds. So I highly recommend you guys click the link in the description. There's a discount code and a way to work with Viral Ecom ads. Again, these guys are absolute beasts and you're going to get ads churned for you very quickly so you don't mess it up. Now, the key is working with them or however you get those creatives. It is like so crucial. The ads are good. I've used Viral Ecom ads myself. I recommend them to my students and just make sure your ads are up to par. Again, leveraging competitive research through this. So if you guys want to work with Viral Ecom ads, click the top link in the description. Again, partnered up with them and either way, using them or not, just make sure your ads are amazing. Top link in the description if you want to work with them. Let's move on to pillar number four and the final pillar of this all. Data monitoring using a profit calculator and data monitoring in general. So I love doing data monitoring because data monitoring is understanding your data, right? If you don't have your data tracked, you're screwed. The good news is when you're starting off in most businesses, you're probably using a platform that tracks your data for you. So this could really be any platform. Shopify is a good example for e-commerce. It'll show your conversion rates. If you're running ads anywhere, you're going to see your C CPM, CTR, all your metrics. The big thing to keep in mind is there's three main metrics that matter your CPM, your CTR for advertising, and then on a conversions end on your website or funnel, whatever your actual conversion funnel, which is pretty much just how many people are converting that come through it. Extremely simple. Why I'm mentioning this is because you guys got to see and realize like, holy shit, this is where you understand what's working and what's not working. And you can then go and properly make decisions, changes, etc., based on what you're seeing. If you're seeing your website conversion rate sucks, what does that mean? You need to fix it. You need to find the bottleneck in your funnel, whether, whether it's, okay, people are clicking on the site, but not adding to cart. People are clicking on the site, adding to cart, but not checking out because my shipping rates are messed up. Maybe if you're in a sales situation, your closer sucks. The point is, is data monitoring is crucial to understand what is and is not working. The more data, the better, but the big three is CPM, CTR and conversion rate. Keep in mind, CPM and CTR are the biggest ad metrics. Every other metric of ads is based off of those two, other than I guess your budget and total spend, but you know, your, your cost per click, a, a lot of these other metrics that you guys know, especially if you're a beginner are based off of those. So really just look at CPM and CTR. Once you get more advanced, you could dabble in the other ones, but again, most of them are, are related off of that. And that's pretty much it. I use a Google sheet for this, by the way, I have a, a calculator, which calculates what I type in my CPM, I type in my CTR, I type in my conversion rates, and you, I have this for every business. And then and it tells me, okay, with X ad spend, I have X revenue, X profit, etc. And then you could build projections, add in your expenses, etc. So you could really get a good projection and idea for, hey, if I do this, what am I going to get out of it? And you can make a lot of fucking money. But that's pretty much it. With these four pillars, like it's so hard to not win in marketing. And if you enjoyed this video, you have other ideas and really just any comment, show some love, read every comment myself, my my team as well. Uh, we try to reply to most of them. I hope you guys enjoyed and loved it. Again, shout out Viral Ecom Ads. They're absolute beasts when it comes to ad creation. I highly recommend recommend you check them out in the top link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.